I intend to have a healthy digestion. I intend to heal my gut. I intend to stay positive. I intend to have a healthy digestion. I intend to heal my gut and I intend to stay positive. I intend to have a healthy digestion. I intend to have to heal my gut and I intend to stay positive. Why is ginger so good as an intestinal inflammational herb? Hmm. Hi beauties, welcome back to Claire Minded. My name is Claire and you just watched me make some Ayurvedic healing intentional tea. And that's because in this week in our herbalism series, we're talking about herbs for intestinal inflammation and we're featuring ginger root. So I'm gonna give you the health benefits according to Ayurveda in this episode, specifically for intestinal inflammation, which are amazing benefits. Ginger is super great. So first, I'm kind of going to show you what I was doing and how to make intentional ginger healing tea for you and any inflammation you're dealing with. I'm going to go over the Ayurvedic perspective from ginger root and then give you the health benefits of ginger because we don't know already. And then I'm going to show you a ginger, mango, turmeric, Ayurvedic anti-inflammatory smoothie. So stay tuned and hop in. <laughs> so now we're making some intentional healing tea because when we're focusing on herbs for intestinal inflammation, we want to heal our gut by setting some intentions. So we are making an Ayurvedic healing intentional tea. So we have a handful of ginger, our herb of the week, that we are going to put in our purified water. And we're doing a, an Ayurvedic cold infusion. So we kind of just let that steep overnight. We're going to keep it outside so the moonlight has a chance to really infuse it with this cold fusion. It'll be great for the Pitta Dosha. And then we are going to write our intentions for our intestinal inflammation. And the thing about is intentions that you want to make sure you do is always speak kind of from like a, a positive place of view. You don't want to say like, I don't want to have pain. You want to say more things like, I intend to have a healthy day. I intend to have a healthy digestive system. So we are going to write three intentions and place it on our Ayurvedic healing intentional tea. So our three intentions for our intestinal inflammation that we want to reduce using ginger is, I intend to have a healthy digestion. I intend to heal my gut and I intend to stay positive. So we're gonna let these intentions infuse overnight and in the morning we're gonna grab it, we're gonna read it and then we're gonna drink it, this intentional healing tea. So now this morning we have our intentional healing ginger tea for our intestinal inflammation. And ginger is our herb of the week and we're using it to help heal and reduce that inflammation in our intestines right now. And by drinking this intentional ginger tea, we are not only warming our body and spirit, but we are healing ourselves from the mind down. From an Ayurvedic perspective, ginger is super herb in Ayurveda, but also it's like, it's just so widely known that ginger is just a super amazing herb because it has so many great benefits. And in this herbalism series, we're focusing on digestive herbs. But the thing about ginger is that it has such a wide range of benefits that we can actually use it for in inflammation as well. So that's why it's in this one for intestinal inflammation because ginger is super awesome. So Ayurvedic perspective on ginger. First we use, what kind of part of the ginger do we use? We use the rhizome. So that is like the root. We use the ginger root. Rhizome. Rhizome. <laughs> That's a part of the ginger plant that we use. So we use the root. And the rasa of ginger is pungent. So it's got a very like hot, spicy kind of taste to it. And then the viria is hot. It's a very hot herb. So if you're cold at all, even sipping on ginger tea, it's warming because it has that hot effect. So it's going to kind of warm your body up. The vipaka of ginger is also pungent. And so a pungent vipaka means that it's purifying for the body. So ginger helps cleanse the body. It helps remove toxins from the body. So it's pungent, it has that purifying effect. So ginger is light, it's sharp, it's oily. It has those, you know, those hot effects, just like the pitta dosha, which is quite fiery. So it's actually not that great for the pitta dosha because it carries so much hot and purifying effects. It's gonna be too hot and too pungent for the pitta dosha. However, for the vata and kapha dosha, ginger is amazing. 
but pinnas can use it in moderation if they're dealing with specific uh, inflammation kind of effects. Ginger is really purifying, so if you added something with like a cooling aspect, ginger will, can be okay for pinna doshas as well. So it's not Bible, but this is just how, how it's recommended. So vata and kapha, definitely start consuming more ginger. In Ayurveda, some of the common uses that we would use ginger for are things like a digestive aid. Because ginger is so cleansing and so purifying, it kind of eases the stomach if you're dealing with any indigestion, gas, or bloating, kind of like I was talking about just a second ago it's really good as a digestive aid it's also really good if you need to increase your appetite because it has these uh, it stimulates the agni in a way because it's got so much like heat to it it's that pungent taste so it's gonna kind of help stimulate that agni and kind of increase your appetite if that's what you need we can also use ginger for uh, congestion if you have any in your chest or your stomach any excess mucus ginger can help purify that we use it to reduce ama so if you have any toxins on your tongue we use ginger for that it also helps if you're dealing with any nausea so say you have motion sickness ginger tea is really good to kind of help soothe you from any nausea or motion sickness that you have and then lastly, the biggest thing of why it's so good for this specific video is because ginger is also an anti-inflammatory herb. So it's gonna help reduce inflammation, which is why it's such a great herb for intestinal inflammation. First, what is intestinal inflammation? Intestinal inflammation is basically a symptom of IBS, so it's inflammatory bowel syndrome. And that's basically when your immune system mistakenly attacks itself and symptoms that can lead from this mistaken accidental fight within your body are things like nausea, things like diarrhea, upset stomach, you can have you know, like a really harsh digestive tract because things aren't being properly absorbed into your body and this can lead to discomfort and ultimately some intestinal inflammation. So the first step in trying to help heal yourself naturally from intestinal inflammation, you should look to herbs. And one of the best herbs for intestinal inflammation is ginger. Ginger is such a freaking amazing herb. And I'm not going to tell you anything that you probably haven't heard before or read somewhere else, but maybe you might connect more with my words than someone else's and that's totally okay. So just to reiterate the benefits of ginger is that it helps remove toxins from your body. So think back to that Ayurvedic perspective. It's a pungent herb, so that means it's purifying. So it cleanses your body. It rids it of toxins of that ama that we don't want. It eases digestion. So if you're dealing with any pain or in like intestinal inflammation, it eases that. It, you know, it reduces that inflammation. It's an antimicrobial, it's antifungal, and it's anti-inflammatory. And that's why ginger is such a great herb for intestinal inflammation because it helps reduce that inflammation that we don't want want. So you can have ginger in your tea, you can incorporate it into your meals in the most subtle ways. You can start intaking ginger to help your body ease itself. And when you take the ginger in, of course you want to focus on staying attuned to a whole food, mostly plant diet because you want to help heal yourself. You don't want to be putting in fried foods, heavy junk foods, or too like greasy foods. That's going to offset and cause even more inflammation. Those are very, or dairy, heavy dark red meats those cause inflammation. So while you're trying to help clear yourself of this intestinal inflammation, you need to be eating a clean diet and then start incorporating ginger into your diet. I showed you how to make an intentional healing tea. So intentional healing tea is just writing down your dreams and wishes on that and saying it out loud because we need to proclaim it to the universe and whoever is listening we set our intention we place it on the glass of water we let it soak and steep overnight so it gains all that loving moon juice basically from the moon that energy and then we take it in the morning we read those intentions and then we drink it so we are healing ourselves through those intentions and through the herbal remedies of ginger we're about to make a mango ginger turmeric coconut milk smoothie and it's gonna rock your socks Okay, so first we're going to use about a cup of coconut, fresh or full fat. Mango is up next, full juicy mango, yes. About a teaspoon of honey, turmeric, one teaspoon, and ginger, also one teaspoon. We're gonna chop up. So first we get everything ready and we're gonna dice up the mango and scoop it in. Mango su super juicy, super yummy. Can't wait to have more. Then we're gonna dice up the ginger, toss that in, toss in the teaspoon of turmeric, kind of stains your hands, Drizzle in the last bit of the honey and then dump in about a cup of that coconut milk and mix.
always, thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Claire. It's a pleasure to guide you through your herbalism series according to Ayurveda. If you like this video, hit the like button. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the links below. And then hit the subscribe button up here if you would love to see more. See you next time.